Hey pretties, I'm trying something a little bit new today and filming with uh, my boyfriend's Canon 60D so bear with me when I'm trying to focus and things like that. Um, so hi, it's been a while. Um, today I'm going to do my best of 2011 video. To be fair, I don't really purchase tons and tons of makeup so the products I use on a daily basis don't change that often but these are the things that I've consistently used uh, throughout the previous year and will continue to do so so I thought I would share those with you and I'm going to try and go really quick I always say that but um, yeah I'm going to try not to dwell on anything too much so first up is my foundation uh, forgive me if I look to the side I've got my MacBook here with my list on it um, so the foundation that I've used for most of the last year has been the MAC face and body um, now my sister purchased this as well and it just came in the mail today and I noticed that mine is a little darker than hers even though we purchased the same shade so I don't know if that's due to this being exposed to the air and oxidizing a little but I've also noticed that lately it has it's sort of separated a bit I'm still using it um, but yeah despite all that it is my go-to and I really really love the way it looks on so that is that Next is my concealer um, and the one I always use and love is Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage and the colour I use is SC2. So my boyfriend got this for me from Sephora in America. Um, he was he totally spoiled me I think to make up for the fact that I wasn't there at Sephora with him so that is my um, go-to under eye I don't generally have too many blemishes on my face to conceal so I just use the peachy one under my eyes on that note I have no makeup on today um, which doesn't bother me but you know get over it if any of you are offended I'm sorry um, next is powder um, I have had a bit of an aversion to powdering my skin until I spoke to one of the girls I'm friends with who works at MAC where I live recently um, and she recommended the MAC prep and prime powder which I already owned um, but I just never used it because I don't know it's a psychological thing I don't like the idea of putting powder on my skin because I never want a matte finish I like a bit of a sheen but this still um, allows like the sheen of your liquid foundation if you use one which I do um, to come through so that's nice blush is Illamasqua powder blusher in tremble and it's a beautiful peachy shade that is gorgeous don't have much more to say about that I just love it uh, for eyeshadow, as with probably 80% of the YouTube beauty population, I'm going to say my Naked palette. Um, lately in particular, I've been using Sin a lot, which is the second shade. Um, and then some, sometimes, most of the time actually I just use that on its own, but sometimes I put a little bit of buck and smog in the crease as well. This is just really beautiful. I don't need to rave on about that. I have two for eyeshadows actually. The second one is the black from this old beaten up pooper palette that um, I got years ago and I just have not seen another black that is as matte and as black as this one so that's one I go for a lot as well. Next up is eyeliner. Um, I do love MAC Fluid Line, but the one I use the most is this Maybelline just black eyeliner pencil, really cheap. Um, it has like a smoking kind of sponge on the other side, which is good, so I like that. Um, for mascara, I'm not really that fussed on what kind of mascara I use, to be honest, but with this one, the one I'm using at the moment is Rimmel Sexy Curves, however, I'm not using the brush that came with that. I'm using a brush from an old Avon um, mascara. So I'm not too fussed about the formula but I do like that brush and more importantly after I apply my mascara I always comb through with a metal tooth um, brush like this one. That is a really great brush to have if you come across it just to comb through your lashes after 
after you've applied mascara. Be really careful because I mean these are like they're metal, they're sharp. Um, you don't want to be poking yourself in the eye but it just separates the lashes and looks really beautiful. Next, um, lip product. I've got two again for this one. Favourite lipstick is Rebel by MAC, which I've kind of chopped off a bit to use on other people. I'll just do a swatch and let's test my focusing skills. So that's the swatch of it. Gorgeous colour, um, especially over a hot pink lip liner. It kind of makes it a bit more bold. Um, am I in focus? I can't even tell. That looks good. Um, so I love that. Longevity is great. Colour is great. Always get comments on it. It's beautiful. Next is uh, for lip gloss. My favourite is NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beige. This is not beige. It is smoky look. I've lost my beige one. It's kind of a similar colour but a bit more pink whereas this is a little more peachy. So I really like this one as well. These are great lip glosses. Next is favourite skincare product which is one that I got not so long ago. Maybe like a month or six weeks and it is Microdermabrasion from The Body Shop. Um, and this is the exfoliator that I use once or twice a week. Um, let me read it to you. It has um, Amazonian Camu Camu and Community Trade Shea Butter. So the Body Shop has really nice products. They um, support Community Trade. I think most all of their products contain um, Community Fair Trade ingredients, which means that money gets spent in the communities that they come from. Um, so they're, you know, all about fair work conditions and stuff for the um, workers in the countries where they purchase their ingredients from. So that's great. And this is awesome as well. It's like a really fine um, exfoliator. It's not got big chunks. It's just really fine particles, which feels really nice on your skin. Sorry, that was a bit of a ramble. Uh, next is nail polish. And the one that I always usually go for is this one by sports girl i don't actually know who makes these sports girl nail polishes they must they must get them made somewhere i mean i don't think sports girl are making their own nail polishes necessarily so i'd be interested to find that out um this one is called lavender and it's also the one that my sister usually reaches for as well so we both really love that Next on my list is hair, um, actually you probably noticed I've had quite a dramatic haircut but seeing as it's not done today and it's not looking great, I'm not going to dwell on that. Let's move on, I'll tell you about that another time. Um, I don't really care what shampoo I use, I use whatever is in the shower, I live with my sister and a friend so there's always some kind of shampoo um, in the bathroom, I just use whatever's there. But one hair product that I really do love is um, Moroccan oil. This stuff is amazing. Um, especially since I've got my hair cut, I blow dry it. Um, and it just makes the blow dry so much better. Lasts for longer, um, there's not as much frizz, so this is really awesome. Makes your hair feel so, so good. Um, so that's it for like beauty and hair. Uh, I've copied and pasted these questions from somebody and they had some fashion stuff in there too so I just decided to do that. Um, Favourite clothing piece is this top that I'm wearing today. It's just a pink um, button up with fine white stripes through it. It's from an op shop or if you're watching in the States or the UK I think they're like thrift stores or charity shops or whatever you call them. Um, here we call them op shops. So it was like $6 I think and I usually wear it with, what do I wear it with? Black skinny jeans, boots and like a black or grey party. To uni I wear it all the time. Um, Favourite jewellery piece is this ring that I got from my parents for my 21st birthday. It's like a teardrop shape and it is by Lai. If you Google Lai jewellery, this will come up. They've got some really beautiful, unique rings. Um, and on the inside, no, I don't know if you'll be able to see. It has 
um, engraved KCBK, which is my mum and dad's initials, and then mine, Blair, and my sister, Kirby. Next is shoes. So my go-to shoes for casual or going out, and I'm out of focus again. I'm so sorry. All right. Are uh, my motorcycle boots from Sports Girl. I got these um, like two or three years ago. Um, they're on sale. I got them at an airport, I think, and I just love them. They're really they kind of add a bit of toughness to a feminine outfit, which I really like. Um, I wear these with like everything, black skinny jeans, feminine kind of floral or lacy dresses or anything, just to, you know, be, add a little bit of edge. I don't like to be too girly, so if I'm feeling a bit too pink or whatever, I mean, I'm wearing a pink top right now, um, then I throw these on and then I feel um, a bit cool, I suppose. Um, and then I think the last thing is your favourite bag. And my favourite bag is this green kind of unusual um, handbag. It's got this, um, the flap at the front has this kind of plasticky fur feel to it. And it's got like a green floral design and the rest is, I don't know if it's real leather, but the rest is like leather feeling stuff. Um, my mum bought that at a charity auction and she was sitting way out the back and she thought it was black and um, so when she realised it was green she was like oh, this is horrendous Blair do you want this and I, <laughs> I loved it um, so I've been using that for like a couple of years and heaps of people comment on it my mum was crazy she just gave it to me so that was cool um, and that's it guys sorry I was a bit rushed I can feel myself getting breathless I just wanted to spit all that out um, I haven't done a video for ages so I'm a little bit rusty so I just wanted to um, get back into making videos and start off with like kind of a simple one um, and also share with you some products that I think have been really great for the last year um, I don't see myself stopping using any of them in the near future so if you um, are after like a new foundation or new eyeshadow or anything like that I hope um, that maybe this video was helpful to you um, and I hope that I will see you all soon via me making videos and you hopefully commenting if you um, want to. That would be so great. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.